Hi my Gemmies, it's Leonore. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate each and every one of you, trust me. Gemmies, this is your love read, okay? Um, I'm working on your love reads. I have a new setup, by the way. Welcome to the new love read setup. Um, actually, it's just my new setup, period. But this is amazing because now you get to see like how I really do my readings for the love reads, which is pretty fun. But um, yeah, full screen. Ain't that a bitch. Anyway, hey, Jemmies, I wanted to let you know about my meditating session. I'm kind of doing that lately with um, a few of my signs here and there. Uh, um, sometimes when I meditate, um, especially lately, I go into the cosmos and I wanted to know about my little Mercury planet. You know, your planet, Jemmys, you are ruled by um, by Mercury. So, um, when I started going into the meditation, tapping into the cosmos, because that's what I do. I tap into the cosmos intuitively, um, even though we have astrologers letting us know, you know, the transits and degrees, so forth and so forth. Um, I like to tap in on my own because my, it's not, I, can, I don't even want to call it intuition. It's more like um, whatever. I just tap in. Like I tap into the spirit world. And um, Mercury is a, um, being a little trickster. I, I couldn't help laughing. Stop. Like I was just laughing. Because that's how much of a trickster it was being. And I'm being serious and talking to you now, but I was like laughing hysterically before. Um, but that's so Jemmy, you know, such a, you know, well, first of all, um, the magician is represented, um, has Gemini, right? It, it represents Gemini in the tarot cards, um, as well as Virgo. But um, it is called the trickster, right? The magician is the trickster of the tarot deck or in the tarot deck. And Mercury was being such a goddamn trickster. It was, I wish you could see the image I was looking at. It was like this little kid that did something wrong and was like, you know, turning its back to see if anyone saw them do something wrong. And then they were being caught specifically by Jupiter. I don't know, Jupiter came into mind. Um, into my vision. Jupiter was not happy with Mercury. Um, Jupiter was like, we don't do that. Okay, you need to behave. Let's not trick everybody. We need to be, you know, a little bit more grown up than that. And Mercury is like, yeah, 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 whatever. Like, just like going at lightning speed, you know, because Mercury is rotates around the sun pretty fast anyway um faster than any other planet but nevertheless um it it it, it was just laughing hysterical like the, like like um the joker okay i'm gonna cross reference into the joker uh the character um that you see in movies i, I don't care what character whoever played it whoever played the jokes the joker in batman movies I thought they all played a good job, <laughs> but um, kind of like that energy, the Joker, and that's that's the energy that I felt when I tapped into um, Mercury. Moving on, in these Q and A love reads, I ask four specific questions. One, how are they feeling about you? Two, what's blocking them from a union or a commitment? Three, if they could write a love letter, what would it say? Four, are they in another relationship now, if that question was already answered? In the first three, in the first three questions, I'll ask, how would they feel if you and them were together? Moving on. All right, Jemmys. So, number one, how are they feeling about you? All right, so in these Q&As, I always invite my cross-watch watchers. Hi, cross-watchers. Okay, mama never forgets about you. Um, 
Um, just give me time to read the energy, my loves, because... I don't really show the cards for the sake of time. I do sometimes. I do. All right. Um, so how are they feeling about you? Mm. Um, I want to point out Taurus. I don't know why, but I'm pointing out Taurus. You take that as it resonates. Um, you could have it in your birth chart. Um, there's a strong Taurus energy here. Uh, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. But this person is very hard at work, nevertheless. Um, reminiscing. They are in a relationship, but don't want to be in a relationship. But then want to be in a relationship again. Um... Okay, so we're dealing with someone who works hard. Okay, I got two King of Pentacles here. Two King of Pentacles, um, amazing energy. You know, we are looking at someone who's very serious about their life and, and their career. They're, they're, it's not a joke for them. One was in the upright, one was in the reverse. But nevertheless, um, the Nine of Pentacles was right in the middle. In the middle okay, we've got a lot of pe Pentacles here. They're seeing someone, but then it's like an on and off relationship. So whoever you're inquiring about, whether you're in a relationship with this person um, or you might inquire about, you know, someone from your past, they're in and out of a relationship. It's like they want to be with them, but then they don't. They, don't. Um, they want to be in a committed relationship um, and then they and then they don't. Whether they're single or not single, they go back and forth with wanting to be in a relationship. So how are they feeling about you? They think about you constantly. Um, mostly probably when um, they go out or they're drinking, listening to music. Next question. What's blocking them from a union or a commitment? All right, so what's blocking them from a union or a commitment? Uh, work. This person's very serious. Um, yeah. All work, no play at this moment. I think the only playtime that happens is in their heads, literally. Like, they just reminisce and sit back and think about good old times. That, like, that's... So what's blocking them from a union or a commitment healing? Uh, they know they real, they, they, they're like stepping back from life and people seems like they're like, I, I need to heal. Um, they're looking at things from a different point of view. Um, they're looking at people from a different point of view. They're trying to uh, resolve situations or problems better than they used to before because it looked like they used to be a player. Mm-hmm. Look at this. King of Wands with my Ace of Cups. Playa. Um, but this player is not playing anymore. That's the thing. They're not hard at work at playing. They're hard at work at work making money with my Eight of Pentacles. They're, they really are working hard. Um, if they don't have a job, they're probably thinking about um, opening up their own business most likely um, something that's a service to others. Yeah, they're not, they're blocking themselves from, uh, they're blocking themselves from um, union or commitment. Um, but they're getting a little help from um, Jupiter. Interesting, because I had seen Jupiter uh, when I was meditating tapping in what's blocking them from a union or commitment um 
So my Jupiter card is here with the Page of Cups. You know, I think the universe is playing a trick on them. That's what it is. I mean, we got the Page of Cups. It's just pretty uh, immature energy. It's not an energy that's that's trying to get into a commitment or a union anyways with the Page of Cups. Um, this person feels entitled. I don't know how you guys broke up or what's going on between both of you. They feel like you, you should come and apologize to them. They're angry with you. But the universe is playing a trick on them. Um, and what do I mean by that? <clears throat> a, a lot of these people, they're single. And they don't like to be single. Remember, they're players. Um, I just got a vision. And don't, don't judge me. Whatever. Sometimes I get a little dirty and nasty. You know how you know people, you know, do bikini lines, man or woman, I don't care. Their bikini line needs to be trim. Okay? That's how much they're not in a union or a commitment. Moving on. If they could write a love letter, what would it say? So in these love letters, um I like to make them in love letter formats. So just bear with me. Oh, jammies. Sometimes you get the longest letters. All right, dolls, let's start. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So if they could write a love letter, what would it say? To whom I may concern. Lately, I haven't been taking care. Lately, I have not been taking care of myself. Sometimes I just hang around with my little pet. I find my pet to be consoling, nurturing. I do think about you sometimes. I do think about if I ever approached you, how would the conversation go? I always think about approaching you, but it seems that it's not the time yet. I like looking at your pictures, your social media, it takes my mind off of things sometimes, especially the negative things, situations in my life. Right now, I don't wanna be in a relationship, but sometimes I find myself being in one that does not make me happy. I got bigger plans to work on anyway, and I'm trying to find the strength to, to, to true happiness. I do miss your kindness. I love the way you talk to me sometimes. I learned a lot from you. I appreciate your honesty as much as it hurt me sometimes. But it did take my mind off of, off of a lot of things. There's so much evil in this world. 
I forgot how that was after I left you. I wish we could work things out again. It just doesn't seem like it's possible. It's almost as if the world doesn't want me to be happy and be with the one I love. I do miss you terribly and I hope you're doing well. I just want you to know that I am taking care of my finance. I want to build a family someday. It's all I'm forcing myself to do. I'm taking action for the future. Sometimes I find myself with no energy. Sometimes I find myself bored. Sometimes I'm undecisive. But nevertheless, in the end, I just want to let you know that I still have romantic feelings for you. And I feel deeply emotional about what happened with us. You did make me feel balanced. And I love your heart and intellect. The end. All right. That's pretty sad. It's like the energy of the letter was like, an, en an energy level of two. Honestly, the only um, thing they look forward to is working and, and hanging out sometimes with family, friends, sometimes, not all the time, because um, they don't even trust their friends and family. Um, but they do love looking at you. Um, you know, um, the world when i see the world it's you know like the world wide web um they find um they do find some type of um interruption when they look at your pictures videos uh social media um, they also feel like they're being punished for something they did i wonder what that is um, but they feel strongly that way. So they they feel very defeated. Um, if you have contact with this person, it's not about you. They just not, they're not trusting people right now. They're going through a funk. That's what it seems like it to me. Okay. Last question. Are they in another relationship? Are they in another relationship? Well, this person really can't decide whether they want to be single or not. They have someone. <sighs> they have someone that they keep in a back burner, like, you know, like in the back closet. Like if, if there's this, if there's a, a bad winter storm, you know, that one jacket that you take out when there's a bad winter storm. That's their relationship. They're not being honest with this person at all. Um, at all with the magician card and my eight of swords. They're, I don't know what they're telling this person. I, obviously, if this person used to be a player, uh, who knows what they're telling this person? I, I mean, this person seems like they have low self-esteem. Like they need someone just to be there because they can't handle it all on their own. They can't handle their emotions. They need like distraction. And then they find themselves being alone. So either way, whether they're with someone or not, they're alone. 
Yeah. Now this person's uh, worried about their success in finance. So I, I'll let you know right now. Their their relationship is their true relationship is money, finance. All right. That's all I have for you, my darling, Jemmies. If you need a private reading, my email is in the description box. Love you. Bye.